So why did I get better light when the car wash soap came on the car than I did before the soap hit? What's up with that? So we're sitting in the car wash. I believe Chloe is Insta-ing or Snapchatting or something. And I'm waiting for the car to get clean. I like car washes. I don't know why, there's a thing about them. I just like them. This place makes the best white queso dip ever. Not keto, and I don't care. I'll start tomorrow. All right, Chloe, what's the verdict on the white? I love it. You what? I love it. Who are you and what have you done with my child? <laughs> Serious talent. So Chloe, what'd you get? Um, cheese quesadillas, Spanish rice, mm -hmm. and tacos. Yeah. I got chicken chimichangas. Pop them. Bob would be good. I wanted to come on for a little bit here and vlog a roni as we're driving. If you are in Worcester ever, if you ever find yourself in Worcester, Ohio, I'm sorry for one. And for two, there's a really good Mexican restaurant called El Campesinos that you should stop at and eat because it's really good. It's way better than Taco Bell and I love me some Taco Bell. So there's your ringing endorsement, but they make this like cheese queso with white cheddar cheese. So good. And everything they make is delicious. So that really pretty. it is really pretty tonight, but I can't get it on camera because it's way over there. Um, but there's a, there's a cop behind me. <gasps> woo, woo, woo. I don't know what he's going for. Um, I was doing the speed limit, so they better not be coming for me. And if he is, well, I guess I won't be vlogging. Um, but there is a, they make really good food. So that was my point. My whole point of this was to say they make really good food. Oh, Mr. Podipo. All right, bye guys. That cop had more important fish to fry than me. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you find yourselves in Worcester, Ohio, stop at that restaurant because it's really tasty. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Even Chloe ate. And she got rice to go. This is the kid that does not eat food outside of like chicken nuggets. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm what do you eat? I'm working on it. She is working on it. I should be fair. She is trying more new things and she I'm, is finding, broadening her palate. I like the cheese sauce and this is coming from a girl who doesn't like sauces or condiments at all. She doesn't. She never puts condiments on anything. No mayonnaise, no ketchup, no mustard, no soy sauce, nothing. Like how weird is that, right? I know. I don't know. I don't know how I raised a child that I'm didn't a, like condiments. I'm a plain child. But she ate that queso down like it was going out of style. So, and then she got some to go. <laughs> and rice like she likes regular rice plain white rice and she's rice. just now starting to eat fried rice um i've been eating fried rice for at least two years now it's been about a year honey oh. it's been about a year um and then in my book that's just starting because she's 13. um and then she's eat she likes the spanish rice at this place but she doesn't like it anywhere else oh hiccup oh, that's because i ate too much food oh my god i'm fat 
It's just a state of being, guys. It's not a bad thing. I'm allowed to say it. Um, but I totally did knock my keto way out. Sorry, that was the, the, the cop is up yeah. here. Um, the cop is up here with someone flashers on the road. Something happened. Oh, oh, oh. someone's getting arrested. Freaking love Worcester. That's a thing of beauty. That kind of me. Oh, don't worry about it, honey. Um. Anyway, she she has like she's been traumatized by the one time I got arrested. Okay, story time. So I have to record on Chloe's phone, <laughs> which actually looks like it has an unspecified amount of data time to record. Sweet. Um. Anyway, story time. <clears throat> I need some water. <sighs> My throat's dry. Hang on. I got it. I know. I like driving the wheel. She likes helping me steer when I drink water and drive one hand or drive with my knees. Anyway, so she was about six years old. Toby was about seven. And I was driving to a friend's house. And I'm driving right now, so I'm not going to be looking at the camera when I tell this. But not often anyway. Um, and I get pulled over. And my car at the time was this Hyundai Elantra, and it didn't have a front, a front license plate. So I got pulled over in a little podunk town called Smithville, and the cop is like running my plates, and he's taking forever. And I'm like, why did I get pulled over? I'm literally sitting there trying to figure out why I got pulled over. Because I didn't know about the front license plate law, and the dealership apparently had told me the car didn't know either. Just a thought. Ha. Huh. Anyway, I got pulled over. And the cops taking forever and ever and ever and I'm trying to like calm the kids down and be like It's just gonna be fine. I'll probably have a light out or something that I don't know about and The cop comes up to my window Gets my ID goes and runs it takes forever and a year again Comes back to the window and is like ma'am. Do you know there's a warrant out for your arrest? I was like, excuse me <laughs> Excuse me officer. What did you just say? And he's like, I'm gonna have to arrest you I'm like, well, I have my kids with me, so what are we going to do about that? So what happened was I called my mom. He was really nice about the whole thing. Like, honestly, the cops were really nice about the whole thing. And he calls my mom, or I call my mom, and I said, Mom, um, something's up. There's apparently a warrant out for my arrest. Nobody knows what it's for or why, because he couldn't pull it, up, pull it up on his computer. And when he called the station, they couldn't pull it up on their computer, but it was there. So he's like... I don't know what it's for, but I have to take you in. And, you know, so mom came and got the kids who are like crying and bawling because mommy's being arrested. And he felt really bad. Like the whole time he was apologizing. And I got transferred to another cop that because it was an out of the county warrant. And it was for somewhere in like Summit County, I think. I think it was Summit County. And the cop is like, the cop that came to get me was really super nice too, but he had to handcuff me. And he handcuffed, like, I had the two sets of cuffs, so I had, like, cuffs and cuffs that were really long, so I had room. And we talked the whole way to the jail. We talked and we just chatted. And then I got to the jail and I got processed, so I was fingerprinted and all of that. Like, the whole shebang, mug shots, everything. And then I get in the cell and I'm, like, kind of sort of starting to fall apart a little bit because I'm, like, super good girl, like... I, I don't, I've never done drugs. I've never done like anything. Seriously, never. I, the worst I've ever done is smoke. And I mean, I didn't even really drink when I was underage. I had like a sip of champagne with my parents or a beer here and there. Um, but, but again, with parental supervision. So it was just like, I was the good kid. And I'm like, what the hell? Why am I getting arrested? So they were like, well, we're gonna release on a signature bond because you have no record, duh. And you need to come to court on Monday. So I went to court on Monday, got the arraignment, went back, you know, because they give you the, your date and then you go back again. So I got the date and then I went back. And when I went in front of the judge, he's like, well, the alleged allegation is there. And he goes, we had to dig for this one. This one's over 10 years old. And I'm like, the fuck? And it, he goes, the alleged allegation is that there was a hit and run with property damage in to um, like 1987 white um, 
like, I can't even remember what it was. It was like, it was just a car, like whatever. It was some dude's car. And he goes, we contacted the owners. They no longer own the car, nor would they care to press charges at this point. And he's like, but I still need to ask you, um, do you remember doing this? And I was like, no. Because if I had, like, I was the best person ever. I've never had a gap in my insurance for my car insurance. I don't drive without insurance. Like, no. And he's like, well, it happened on August 19th in 2003. And I went, I just started laughing. And my attorney's like, what is wrong with you? And I couldn't stop for like a full minute. Like I was seriously like belly laughing really hard. And he's like, is something funny? And I was like, yeah, that's the day my son was born. It definitely wasn't me. <laughs> and he's like, oh, well, that's a first. <laughs> so what happened was I had been living with a few people that shared my car. And he goes, well, could somebody have used your car the day you were giving birth to your child? And I said, yeah, it's very possible somebody was using my car that day. I said, I wouldn't know. I was in the hospital like a full day beforehand. And most of, I mean, all of that day and most of the day after for, it was like a three day hospital stay. And he was like, okay, well, um, let's see if we can pull up your son's birth certificate. Pull up Toby's birth certificate. Good to go. Got it dismissed, no charges. Everything got expunged from my record. No biggie. And I didn't even have to pay court costs because it was like obviously not me. So I got, I walked out with nothing, you know, no harm, no foul, but a really funny story. And yeah, that was like the one time I was arrested. So Chloe is now like terrified of cops because she was like traumatized at six years old by the cop arresting me for no reason. Uh, and someone, some kid like, can I do a story? Now? Yeah. Okay, so one time me and my friend. Look at the camera though, cause you're not driving. So, right here. Um, one time, me and my friend, I'm trying to think of a nickname. Just to do the first initial. Let's call her P. Um, P, and P and I were walking from the bus stop, and there was some really snotty kids that didn't really like us and would pick on us. So, one time we got walnuts and rotten apples as, like, defense. I didn't know this until recently. She told me this story recently. I didn't know, like, I remember now, but she did not tell me at the time. No. It was... Here, I thought she was all good. <laughs> and. She's worse than me. <laughs> we ended up throwing them at them. They went inside and called the cops on us. And we didn't know what to do because we were little. We were panicking. We were like, what are we going to do? How old were you? Um, you were like seven nine, or eight, nine, nine eight, nine. Or ten. You weren't ten yet. No, um, eight or nine. Yeah. Then. And so we just like hid in a couple of bushes for like half an hour. Hid the bush. We hid in the we, we hid in some really thick bushes for like half an hour, not knowing what to do until until we were like I think it's safe, and then we went home. She's so funny, but she's afraid of cops. I'm, I'm traumatized. And I keep telling her like. They're there to help. You don't need to be afraid of them. Unless you're throwing things at people. <laughs> um, well, in which it case. It wasn't self-defense. Honestly, though, yeah. They and tried the, to shoot us with the baby gun. Those were those bully kids. I know exactly which kids you're talking about, but there there were some serious bullies in the neighborhood. And, like, the worst they got ever at them was thrown at them and was apples, so whatever. Um, Teach your kids some discipline. For real. But... Yeah, so we have, we definitely have a uh, interesting life sometimes. Sometimes it's really boring, like the rest of this drive. But I did see how green it is outside, and Mike, for some reason the lighting isn't half bad, even though it's this dark outside. Like, it's actually, sun, like, the sun has set already, it's just what's left of the sunset. And the light's actually still decent on camera, which means this... This phone has really good lighting. Good job, Samsung. Um, uh, uh, that, and it was the first time I actually remember someone getting arrested. Like, with my eyes. So. Oh, me? Yeah. 
Yeah. It was the first time I, I saw someone. I actually. don't think I remember seeing anyone get arrested. That was my first That time. wasn't like on cops when I was a kid on TV. Um, in real life, I was well into my teen years before I saw somebody get arrested. That was so, my first. It's yeah. a little kind of nervous. I grew up very sheltered. Like, I really, really, truly did. I had a a very rude awakening as a teenager and young adult. And that's something I'm trying to spare Chloe. So, you're welcome, Chloe. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, oh, why are people driving without their lights on? Put your lights on. I don't know. Why do I always go southern when I yell at people? What's up with that? Somewhere to make me draw my croissant. That's French. Oh. <laughs> croissant. My croissant. My croissant. So Costco had this big tub of croissants. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh my God, I wanted it so bad. It was like a 24 pack of croissants. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I freaking love those things, but I resisted and I was happy. But oh, it was so hard to resist that. Cause all I could think of was like making croissant sandwiches and how good they would be. That reminded me, one time I had a <sighs> pancake, there was whipped cream and chocolate sauce. Doing the logical thing, I put chocolate sauce on one pancake, Whipped cream on the other. I made a sandwich. Absolutely. It was freaking delicious. I wanted it. I can't. I would have bought those croissants and made half of them breakfast sandwiches and half of them lunch sandwiches and made them freezer <laughs> sandwiches. But then I would have eaten them all in one day. I wanted. Well, maybe not. But I, I'm trying to kill carbs, guys. I'm gonna. I'm gonna legit. I thought I saw a dog on the side of the road, but it was just an empty box. Um, I'm gonna legit, legitimately, try to go keto. At some point soon, because we're getting on an airplane to go to Vegas in August, and while I doubt it'll happen that fast, I would like to avoid the seatbelt extender if at all possible. I definitely want to avoid it by November when we go out and fly to Seattle. So, what's I'm, a seatbelt? A seatbelt extender is for fat people, and it's like legitimately it's a thing. Um, it's an extender for the seat belt because the lap belts only go so far and if you're overweight you tend to be fatter than the belt so you have to get a little like piece that's about this big that actually the last time I flew in May of last year I needed the seat belt extender for literally this much space so if I can lose like two inches I mean that's about an inch so if I can lose two inches I won't need the seat belt extender um, so I, I was so mad because I was like, oh, it's so close. But if I can keto on, like I have to, that's how I have to like keto. I have to keto so I can not get a seatbelt extender. So we're losing the light. So I think I'm going to call it for now and maybe vlog when we get home and maybe edit and upload when we get home. Depends on my mood and what else I end up having to say. If y'all, you want to do an outro, see how good you are at it. She keeps telling me I need a better outro, but she has no ideas and she's not volunteering. Mm. Well, that's all for today, folks. I can't do this either. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's a lot harder than it looks. It, I feel nervous about it. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I she's still kind of like weird about the phone, weird about filming. I still get kind of weird about filming sometimes. Sometimes I'm okay though. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm vlogging in a restaurant, whatever. And sometimes I'm like, hide the camera. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you like our content, subscribe, leave a comment. I love reading comments. I was so excited when I got a comment from one of you guys, like today, it was earlier today. So she's gonna go to sleep apparently. I guess she's taking a nap or saying goodbye or something going into the abyss um but yeah like the video leave a comment subscribe to our channel share the channel whatever you know you're feeling at the time so we appreciate it love the feedback and we hope to see you guys soon <laughs>